welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to drop some unreleased footage from our trip to Spain last year or last summer. Um, I did not release footage from our portion of the trip when we were in Barcelona and Bilbao, so I'm just gonna have some footage after this quick little intro um, of that. And obviously this is my travel partner, Vince. Hello. <laughs> you wanna say anything else? Um, we're sheltering in place in Michigan right now, and uh, as everyone else is as well, so I thought it'd be fun to look back at our trip um, from last fall to share some adventures as we plan our next trip um, this upcoming summer as well. Enjoy. <laughs> One of the coolest spots we visited in Barcelona was the Plaza de España area where we found the Magic Fountain. This water light show blows the Disney World one out of the water, in my opinion. About an hour after the sun sets, the show begins, a coordination of light and popular music. This is also a cool and free way to spend your time in the city of Barcelona. Behind the fountain is the start of the Barcelona Olympic Park. A series of escalators will take you up there where you can explore the site where the 1992 Olympic Games were held. Barcelona is home to some of the most beautiful architecture in the world. You can find architect Antony Gaudi's work sprinkled throughout the city, and if you take a nice hike, and I mean a very steep hike at that, you might happen to find yourself at the most captivating spot in Barcelona, the Parc Guau. During the time that we visited Parc Guau, the part of the park that holds the beautiful mosaic seats and the iconic cross are heavily under construction. Tourists can purchase tickets to get in to see what little they can, but book in advance because in Barcelona, in efforts to preserve its historical sites, they put a strict limit on the number of tickets sold to get into these places. In my opinion, I was able to see a lot from the free open access areas of the park. And my favorite spot were the stone arches, which provided a great spot to retreat from the hot Spanish sun. Ciao everyone! So doing a guest introduction, but right now we're on the hilltop for the Gaudi uh, Familia. And it's one of the highest peaks in Barcelona, actually. It's there in the distance you can see. Uh, and this is a whole park dedicated to that area. But behind me, check out even closer. So looking out into the Mediterranean Sea, you can see the whole city of Barcelona in the distance. Freaking uh, So this quarter was Roman because this is the main port in Barcelona City. The Roman town was founded in like 40 like BC. That's 40 BC. That's not, it's 2000 in like 50 years. Look at that. See the palm trees all the way down. After a few days in Barcelona, we hopped on a train to Bilbao, Spain, which is in the Basque region. One of the unique experiences we had here was attending a bullfight during Bilbao's Asta Negucia, which translates to Big Week in English. 
This nine-day festival included a daily firework competition, multiple concerts, street food vendors, and carnival rides. This festival essentially takes over the whole city of Bilbao. It is important to note that bullfighting is a part of the culture in that region. Aside from how I felt, which was conflicted by the experience, I did appreciate the beauty of the costumes and the elegant way the matador and toradors move. I liken it to ballet in a way. Out of respect, I will not be displaying footage of animals being physically harmed. The most exciting part of Bilbao for me was visiting the architectural masterpiece, the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. This is the second Guggenheim Museum I have been able to visit. Last year I saw the Peggy Guggenheim collection in Venice. The museum has an amazing and affordable cafe. The art is all contemporary, which is my favorite style of art. It includes a good amount of art that engages the human. Instead of just viewing, you can walk through, listen, and experience the art. Funnest museum ever. I'm just going to be quiet and allow you guys to enjoy the views. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Um, subscribers help me make improvements to my channel since YouTube just wants to keep me down. So anyway, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! See ya!